All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Wahabra Kakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Mr. Brother Yahweh, coming at you with another lesson to edify and comfort the Lord's elect. The Lord willing that this video be edified. 2022, the year turning up, and that's right, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is turning up. All right, more so than ever, and especially in these times. All right, especially in these times. And I want to do a lesson on this uh, this question a sister had asked me prior to a video that I sent to her about uh, NASA, you know, uh, appearing to see an image. And we believe that, you know, Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior. All right. And um, as I sent her the video, she she replied back and said, is it time? Which mean which meaning is it time for him to make his second return on the earth? And uh, she and it led to her saying, "Don't the uh, anti antichrist have to come prior before that?" All right, <clears throat> and she was speaking about the great rapture, a uh, rapture, the rapture going to come. And um, you know, I told her I was going to do a lesson on it because due to uh, Christian belief, they believe that uh, a, a man is going to come with red horns, and they're going to call him the antichrist. But according to the scriptures, you know, it's going to be many antichrists, anti-Mashiach. That's what it really is, anti-Mashiach, all right? Ones who are against our Lord. And it's many of them, starting with Esau Edom, the so-called white man, and to these heathen nations and two-thirds of our people, all right? So I want to go on a quick, I want to do a quick lesson on it, on the uh, question she asked. And I did this lesson earlier, but Esau... The devil that he is, he took the volume off the uh off the lesson. So I don't want Rasa you know, it uh it fall through from me this time. The spirit and power y'all by Shema Shah. So this is first John two and eighteen. It says, Little children, it is the last time, as you have heard that anti Christ, which anti Messiah, shall come. Even now are there many anti Messiah, anti Mashiach, whereabout we know. That is the last time. That's right. So it's many anti anti messiahs. All right. Ones that are against our Lord. Anti mean against. OK. So it's many antichrist. Anti Mashiach. All right. Because <clears throat> Esau Edom, you know, he don't believe in the Lord. He set out to come against our Lord. And two thirds of our people who 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 forbid to hit his truth. They against our Lord as well, rather and well as these heathen nations. All right. So it said there's many anti Mashiach, not just one person, you know, with red horns, and you know, they're gonna pronounce him to be the, the Antichrist, all right, so to speak. So this is first John two and twenty two. Who is a liar? But he that denied that Yahweh Shah is the Messiah, the Mashiach, he is anti Mashiach. That deny the Father and the Son. That's right, man. All right. So if you deny our Lord, then what? You're uh, anti Mashiach. In every verse, First John four and three, in every spirit that confess not that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is come in the flesh is not of the Most High. And this is the spirit of the anti anti Mashiach. Wherefore ye have heard that it shall come, and even now already. It is, is it in the world? That's right, man. That's the spirit of this world. All right. Due to Esau philosophy, he's pushed out that, that vibration. All right. To go against our Lord. All right. Then the scripture said that I, this is a place where our Lord was crucified. All right. And two thirds of our people have joined unto this devil. They, they, they believe the same way Esau believed. That's why they come against us. That's why they so rebellious. All right. To hear the word of the Lord. Because why? The Lord have rejected them. All right. And they're against our Lord. And that's a lose lose battle. This is second John one and verse seven for many deceivers are entered into the world. That's right. Who confess not that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is come in the flesh. This is the deceiver in a anti Mashiach. That's right. Antichrist, so to speak. All right. So, you know, it's a lot. It's many anti Mashiach. All right. Walking amongst us now. OK. And she also spoke about the rapture with the scriptures. You know, the word rapture is not in the scriptures, but.
but what's in the scripture is the deliverance. All right. What Esau called the, the great rapture where we're going to be uh, uh, abducted, so to speak. We're going to be taken up in the heavens through the chairs who the world ignorant call UFOs, UAPs. OK. When it's when when these Christians speaks about the rapture, they talking about the deliverance of the elect. This is Revelation 11 and verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto him, unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. That's right. And who is they? The elect ascended up to heaven in a cloud. And we know, according to the scriptures, that the clouds are the Lord's chariot. <clears throat> I'm going to make this quick because I'm on my uh, break. And I'm going to say this, man. You got them devils, man. You're going to get it in the kingdom. This devil, acts, he didn't act, he act like he didn't want to give me a break, you know. But it, it, his time coming. His time is coming. All right. This is Psalms 104 and verse 3. Who laid the beams of his chambers into the water, waters, who make the clouds his chariot, who walk upon the wings of the wind. That's right. So. According to the scriptures, when they ascended up to the clouds, that's talking about us entering into those chariots, this escaping the nuclear destruction that's coming. That World War Three is coming. All right. It's coming quickly. Well, we're going to meet the Lord in the air. To escape. All right. The nuclear missile. I don't want to rock this out. We have the elect. This is uh, first Thessalonians four and verse 17. Then we then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them. In the clouds. And them is talking about the ones who died in Yahweh Shah. They're going to be risen first, as verse 16 goes into. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the angel, of the archangel, and the trumpet of the Most High, and the dead in Yahweh Shah shall rise first. Brothers brothers who died in the ministry believing in Yahweh Shah, they're going to be risen up first. But us, you know, to get to see the salvation of our Lord and make, make his second return, we're also going to get caught up. Then which we are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them and the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And that's why I'm doing this lesson to comfort the sister with these words. All right. To let her know, you know, the, the deliverance. OK, it's coming. The Esau called a so-called rapture. Like I said, the word rapture is not in the scripture. All right. The Esau's deceived, man. He he deceived that he's thinking that he's going to be saved. What the scripture says about that, that our enemies who counted our life as madness, they're going to be they're going to be uh, uh, amazed at the strength of our salvation. This is wisdom of Solomon five and verse two. When they shall see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. That's right. When they see our Lord and Savior, how shall how shall crack them clouds and the whole host of heaven, they shall with terrible fear and shall be amazed. Also, those nuclear missiles shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. His is talking about the elect so far beyond that they look for. That's right. Esau don't look for so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans to go out and style uh, uh, in so-called UFOs, chariots. All right. And it says, and they repenting and groaning for astonished to spirit shall stay within themselves. This is he whom we had sometimes in derision. In a proverb of a reproach. That's right, man. You know, Esau looked down on us, called us by word. You know, we fools accounted his life madness and his end without honor. How he, how is he numbered among the children of the Most High? And his lot is among the saints. That's right, man. You know, so these devils got a great, uh, 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 a great awakening coming. All right, that only the elect of the nation Israel, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, who you look far off. From being delivered, it's gonna be delivered. All right. And guess what, man? You're gonna eat a missile. You eat a mice are gonna eat a missile, man. Okay? Because the Lord, uh, due to world uh popular belief, the Lord is not coming back to save everyone, he's coming back to save his remnant. All right, and I don't want to out us believers that confess that Yahweh Shah came in the flesh and we will believe in him, we're gonna be saved with faith, man. All right. So uh, you know, I just want to do this quick little lesson to edify the sister. I don't want to out. She is edified well as you other brothers and sisters that listen and learning. I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahashim, A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Keep scribing, brothers. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom. Ababa.